Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain the, the option swept blend in Creo parametric software. We can use this swept blend uh, for different outputs. It adds solid between two different sections or between the same sections with different sizes. So suppose one side you need a rectangular face to its end uh, that should be turned into a circular shape then we use this option swept blend or else uh, if the section is same say suppose uh, uh, the front end if you want a rectangular section with some uh, 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 100 by 50 dimension and when it reaches to end to the end the size of that rectangle if you want to reduce that to like a uh, 50 by 30 then we need to use this option swept blend in this video i'll apply this option for same sections with the different dimensions to use this option first to take a a curve or a, or a line for that I select plane, I go to sketch, if you want to add a solid between sections straight then just take a line then go for ok, then you need to, you need to create two sections at start point and at end point swept blend also used to add solid between different sections in a curved form if you take a line it will be added straight the solid will be just right if you take a curve the solid is added in a curvature mode in this video let me see with a line we see the material adding straight normal to this line with the same sections of different sizes then we go for a swap blend option select that line then we need to create two sections for that here go for section option see section 1 it is there just do select that section 1 here we can see sketch option click on that now create I go for rectangle see I select start point here then end point to its bottom then exit go for ok at one side at start section of a rectangle of a some size then we need to create the other section at this point to form a profile at this point you need to go for an insert option then you can see section 2, section 1, section 2, select that section 2 option, then go to sketch. Now here I create a rectangle of a smaller size, see I, I, I select a start point here. For the previous rectangle I selected the start point, uh, the upper side, upper left corner, but for this rectangle I create, I, I select the start point, lower right corner, see, a smaller rectangle, then I go for OK. Now the solid will not be added, now the solid will not be added, why because, see, here you can see the point, see while creating rectangle we started at this point, but 
for this section you can see this orange point this point is downside here both the start points should be collinear if the start point of first section if the start point of first section at this position then here also the start point should be at the same position so for that what we need to do i go for a section two because i on on any section you can change the start point so i select section two i go for sketch again then we need to replace this start point at this place for that just select at that corner point then we need to right click just right click on that here you can see start point now just go for ok now the solid is added see according to this path the path is straight then the solid also straight the only thing is we need to check the start point if both the sections are same if both the sections are same same just see that the start point is at the same place then go for ok like this see now we got a solid with a uh, start and end both sides having same rectangular section but with a different size to make this hollow see if you want with the hollow section of some thickness then edit again to edit again just select this swept blend option here you can see edit definition option select that edit definition now here don't go into section here itself it shows see create a thin feature just do select that one create thin feature then you can see here thickness i give 5 mm thickness either either inside or outside you can manipulate by selecting this see like this like this then go for ok now it will be hollow inside to apply a color go to view option in the view you just select appearance option hold control and enter see like this we need to use this option so this is a one method of a uh, of, of generating a solid between uh, two rectangular sections of a different size thanks for watching this video for more video share and subscribe to imperial cat system